this is actually my favorite. This is actually my favorite picture. My the illustrator did this one. It's an astronaut, yeah, but the little cupcakes. <laughs> What do the following items have in common? The tile floor in the bathroom, the chain link fence at school, and the outside of your soccer ball. All three are examples of tessellations. Go on a tessellation treasure hunt around your home. Can you find examples of polygons that tessellate? This next tasty treat, tessellating two color brownies, are not only knock your socks off delicious, but they also make a terrific tessellation. Um, the idea of my books is to have really complicated topics and figure out what they mean by using food. I actually used to work at um, an elementary school. I worked at North Chevy Chase Elementary School and I was a math teacher. Some of them really didn't like math that much and so I was always trying to make it exciting. So one day we decided, it was just before winter break, and I decided that they were gonna make these mathematical gingerbread houses. They measured out the perimeter of the roof, they found circles and different shapes, they measured how long the path was, they just made them mathematical. And when I went home that day, I thought, wow, this is a great way to teach kids about math. So you basically take the baking soda and the sugar and uh, you make a little bit of a paste with water and then you take a Q-tip, paint it on the pizza dough, put them into the oven and, and they um, come out with the, with the writing. Something was brewing in America in 1773 and it wasn't just tea or coffee. Anger towards the British Parliament was about to boil over. On December 16th, colonists organized a protest called the Boston Tea Party. Patriots, Americans against British rule, met in taverns and coffee houses to plan what to do next. On the menu was coffee and honey jumble cookies, with a dollop of politics, of course. You should always be um, sort of thinking, how can I how can I get people interested in this? How can I, you know, how can I be a role model? How can I portray that this is really, this is really important and interesting and the stepping stone for, you know, more learning. If you know that you figured out something hard previously, then when it does get hard, when something, you know, when something comes along that really puzzles you, maybe you'll persevere. Maybe you'll, you know, continue with it because you know that you figured it out the last time.